Hey everybody, this is Bev Gray from Technique Tuesday. Today I want to show you seven different ways you can use the cut pine cone builder dies on your next project. Now when you get the pine cone builder dies, they're going to look like this. And the first thing you need to do is to, you need to nip apart these little pieces that connect them. If you haven't seen our video about how to nip apart your dies, you can go watch that. We'll put the link in uh, the section below so that you can find that video easier. Now you're going to want to cut apart those four dies, and when you're done cutting them apart, they're going to look like this. You're going to have two pieces of pine bough. You're going to have a solid uh, background for your uh, pine cone, and then you'll have the more detailed pine cone die. And when you cut those apart and start using them, you can make pretty traditional pine cone cards like this one, where it's got the craft colored solid, the dark brown colored detail, and then different pine boughs <laughs> along with it to jazz it up with a bit of greenery. Now one of my favorite things to do with this die is to go ahead and cut out the solid out of the gold and then take the detail die and cut out a different color, in this case it's brown, and just lay the detailed piece over the top of the glitter paper. And you can do it more in traditional colors like the brown, or here's an example where I just used a teal blue over the top of that gold glitter paper. Now another idea is to add multicolored sparkle to your project. So for this one, we took and cut out the solid with craft cardstock, cut out the detailed pine cone with the brown, and then we just took a bunch of different colors of stickles and added all those different sparkle colors to the project. Now another cool look is to mix things up with pattern paper. So you can do this a couple different ways. For this project, what we did is we die cut out all the detail from the pattern paper. We pulled out all the middle parts and we actually use it on this project. But then we put the whole thing on top of a solid uh, teal blue uh, pine cone to make this look. For this one, we actually used three pieces. We did a craft colored solid to just provide a base for the whole thing. We did a brown detail, and then we took all the little pieces that had come out of here of the pattern paper and just pressed them down into the open spaces. I really like the pattern paper look too. Now while we were playing with these dies, we realized that they make pretty cool looking leaves too. So in this case, what you can do is you can cut out a solid. Here I've cut out a solid brown and then cut out one of the fronds that's supposed to be um, one of those pine boughs and just lay it on top. So here it is in a brown and red scheme, but you can also do it in non-traditional colors like this too. So then we took things one step further and what we did is we die cut out a piece of pattern paper, then we laid the little pine bough on top of it and die cut that out so that it looks like this and then we realized how much fun it is to go ahead and inlay back in a different color to use your pattern paper and then the, uh, the little frond cut into the middle of it to really look like a cute little autumn leaf. Now for this leaf we kind of combined a bunch of the steps we've already talked about. We took and die cut out a craft colored um, background. We cut out a brown one and then cut out a red frond out of the middle of that one and then inlaid it back in. And what we're planning to do with that is to go ahead, oh, and I forgot to say this too, we offset the craft color just a little bit so that it would really pop when you add it to a project like this. You can see every one of these has that craft background um, offset just a little bit so it really pops off the card. And the last project I want to show you is kind of the simplest. Here all we did was we took the detailed die, we cut out two different colors of the brown detail pine cone, took all the little middle pieces out, and I think it's going to be you're looking really good on this card for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different ways you can use the pine cone builder dies. Thanks for watching.